Well, first, I want to thank the Broncos for allowing us to utilize this facility. I think it's a great place to have this event. Um, uh, the RMAC does a great job of putting this event on every year, and I think it's a great thing for our, our conference as well as each of the individual programs. And I think it's a great way to recognize a lot of these individuals. Um, as we start going into the season, obviously we're going to have a lot of new faces. Um, I think our expectations continue to go up, and I think as far as a football team, we want to continue to be one of the best teams, not only in the conference, but hopefully in the country. And so um, as, far as, as far as our initial outlook. Um, it's going to be a lot of hard work and it's going to be a standpoint of having very high expectations. Any players, Rope, Alec, Peter, Darian, your thoughts on the upcoming season? Um, yeah, uh, I think all of us up here, us four, can um, say that we're just excited. I mean, we're all seniors. We're the same class um, and we're coming off a 7-4 and four season. Most people say, you know, that's a winning season. That's good. But for us, we're not, you know, that didn't sit well with us. Um, we know we're better than that. And we're just excited um, to come out and show everyone else that we're better than that. Um, and I think we just have good leaders on the offense and on the defense side of the ball that uh, we can get that done. And I'm just excited to see what happens. Open questions to the floor. I'm going to let the, share, the players share on this here as well, but uh, I think that's one of the things that, that we've tried to emphasize. Um, the game of football, there's going to be some close games, and there's a fine line, uh, and I've said this from the very first year that I was at Colorado Mesa, between being 2-9 and nine and 9-2, nine and two. and sometimes it just comes down to the bounce of the football, and it comes down to the breaks, but also it comes down to some of the things you control. It might be a penalty. It might be a guy losing focus for a play or a guy staying very well focused, and so what we're going to continue to focus on there for us is taking care of the fundamentals. There's certain certain things you control, there are certain things you don't control. Um, we don't control the personnel on the other team, we don't control the plays that they run or the things that they do, but we certainly control our preparation in getting ready for those things, and I think our guys have been, been in those situations. In practice, we try to make sure we're practicing those kind of last minute situations. Uh, the more that they can get into that, the more comfortable they are in a game, and so I think every coach in this conference does a great job of that, and sometimes it's just going to come down to how the, how the chips fall, and so uh, I'll let these guys kind of address their thoughts with it, but uh, you're, you're exactly Exactly right. It could have easily been a, a situation. We win a couple more games. Could lose a couple more games. Um, we're going to continue to focus on on winning those games and uh, being in, being in those games in the fourth quarter. Yeah, just to go along with coach. I think just uh, like South Dakota was talking about, just finishing games. We've had trouble with that in the past, and sometimes we'll start games a little slow or sluggish. And like long road trips, those are tough. And we just got to emphasize like getting right going from the start and stuff like that. Um, I feel like with some close games we had, uh, Coach is always talking about special teams. So, you know, like losing by a field goal or something, that could be set off of like uh, where the uh, ball is positioned like on a punt or something. But I feel like uh, our special teams last year could have uh, lost us a lot of those close games. Like, you know, our kickoff cover team, you know, giving us some uh, deep returns out fresh out of halftime and stuff like that. So I feel like um, if we get, a, uh, get those a lot better in sound, then we'll have a better chance winning those close games. Um. I think that something that we should focus on is just really being sound on all three phases, um, offensively, defensively, special teams wise, and just being coachable. I mean, we have a lot of new faces, a lot of new um, players that will be in, a lot of new um, different techniques and things that we're going to be learning with the different type of personnel that we have changing on the defensive end for sure. But just really being sound in our techniques, being coachable, um, just really executing in the times that we need to be, and just staying together as a team, being focused. Uh, make sure that we're um, being very productive in the weight room and spending our off time just really focus on football, making that our first priority and just bring everything together so that we can compete and take advantage of the close situations in the game and come out with Ws. Darian, coming out, uh, recovering from an injury with the rehab, how excited are you to be back on the field? Definitely excited. Um, it's, been, it's been tough, 14 months I've been out really just really rehabbing, uh, really focusing on getting back on the field, being the leader that I, that I should be and looking forward to being for the younger guys on the field. Um, but with that, there's a lot of pressures, just like coming off a tremendous like injury, something that could be 
either end your career or just like bring new light to it. But I'm really just trying to take advantage of the opportunities that I have to play with these guys and like the rest of my teammates that I've been with for five years and just win football games and just be the best player I can be. Um, there's nothing that like I'm afraid of but in, in, in terms of my injury. I'm just really focused and just ready to get back on the field and play with my guys. And then, Alec, for you, what's it mean to have a player like Darian back, and how would you describe your team's mentality on the defensive side of the ball? Uh, I think it's huge to get Darian back. I mean, you could tell last year in our secondary we could have used them, but I think uh, our defense mentality is just we got to fly around to the ball and just uh, work our butts off, I guess, to uh, just make forced turnovers and try to get the offense the ball as much as we can. And then, obviously, different players moving in and out. Rope, you're getting more time. Obviously, you had plenty of experience last year. What did it mean going into spring, having game experience, and how did you build off last year going into spring and now through summer? I mean, yeah, um, yeah, that's a big question right now is the spot to fill is the quarterback position for us. Um, we had Easton Salem um, graduate who past two years has been a great quarterback, and I've been blessed to be behind him and learn from him. Uh, but really, for me, uh, these past four years being at Colorado Mesa, I've just prepared every week, even though going into the week, I know I'm not the guy that's going out there right away. But um, with our position, it's just one snap. So for the past four years, I've just been preparing every every week, every season, like just one snap away from being that guy. So for me, mentally, um, haven't really changed a whole lot um, with my preparation and how I go about the game. And I'm just excited and really looking forward to um, actually really showcasing my uh, talent, my ability, and really my passion for the game. And I just look forward to going out there, playing for these guys, and um, giving it all I got for one, one more year. And Peter, last year you set a school record in receptions. What does that mean that you need to work on now to get better at after you've already set the standard last year? Um, uh, yeah, I know I had a couple of school records last year, but I feel like um, I feel like I could showcase a lot more, you know. Um, I feel like I got targeted quite a few, but I feel like um, I feel like I could be incorporated into the offense a lot more, and I feel like that's something that we're going to try to do this year uh, as a team. And um, um, I don't know standards. I feel like I feel like I could do a lot more than last year, even uh, with the receptions and the yards and stuff. But um, I've been working a lot this summer, so I'm just excited for the season to come. You know, only, for, only a few more weeks before I'm back on campus getting to work, so I'm excited.